Hey, NES Evolution here. Uh, doing a pickup video. Haven't done one in a while, so I got quite a bit of stuff. Uh, I'm going to start with a couple toys. Yeah, there's a glare in my glasses, and I don't know why. Um, start with a couple toys that I got. Um, end up getting um, a Scarecrow figure from the Batman Animated Series. One of my favorite cartoons as a kid. That and X-Men and Spider-Man were my favorite cartoons as kids. All on Fox, so that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, in the box, love those, love figures in the box. Um, next up is a figure I opened already, but he's pretty sweet, I'm glad I have him. It's uh, Corporal Dwayne Hicks. Sorry, my dog was doing something. But yeah, pretty cool. Um, from an Aliens movie. Um, the only survivor with Ripley, but then he ends up dying anyway. Uh, he's got a sweet gun, it's like pulse rifle or whatever. Then he's even got his shotgun back there. It does come out and stuff. Uh, but yeah, pretty detailed. Really cool. Um, yeah, so I wanted to get that. Thought that was awesome. Goes with my other figures I have Predator and Alien and stuff. Um, let's start with a Game Boy game I got. Got it for real cheap. It's uh, uh, WWE Superstars, made by LJN. But it's got uh, Ultimate Warrior, Macho Man, Hulk Hogan on the front. So, pretty cool. Um, next up is my only NES game, but a really neat game to get. And I got it complete in box in really nice shape. Widget. Needed it for my collection, and the guy ended up having it complete in box. Really nice shape. It's got the poster in there and everything. So, really cool. Glad to have that in my complete in box collection. Probably got, I don't know, not many, maybe 15 complete box games, but I don't go for that. So when I find them, and I had trade, so that was a little bit more expensive, but I didn't care. Okay, then up next is my Nintendo 64 stuff that I got. Got some really cool uh, Nintendo 64 VHS tapes. There's one. And here's two. This one... Uh, this one's about Star Fox 64. I think the other one was just general things telling you. Um, I already have an, I have one, but that's probably kind of cool. Next up is a boxed Nintendo cleaning kit. Pretty good shape. Decided to pick that up as well. Um, next up is Atomic Purple controller. Got it for nine bucks. You can't beat a 964 controller. If you see one ten bucks or cheaper. I say pick it up. It's worth it. Especially this stick is tight on here. So definitely worth it. Um, ten bucks cheaper, I pick them up for sure. Then this one I got for actually for ten bucks. It's a pretty good deal. Got a Nintendo 64 in the box. Um, yeah, it's in pretty good shape. So yeah, pretty cool. Um, next up is my. Sega stuff. Sega Genesis games. I got uh, Road Rash 3. Actually, I picked this up for, um, yeah, I was, I was one of those like, really, really Road Rash games. Pretty fun. Now, uh, here's a game I know is not that good, but I needed it for my collection Cutthroat Island. This is one I'm very interested to play. I can't wait. It's called uh, Dashin Desperados. Never even heard of it. So, can't wait to pop that one and check it out. Actually, I got Back to the Future 3. It's actually the second copy I have of this. So, pretty cool. Um, Sega Classic cl Classics. It's all three Sonic games in one. This is the last Sonic game that I needed for my Genesis collection. Pretty cool. Now I got two harder to find games. This one's called Hellfire. Actually, Back to the Future 3 is kind of hard to find too. Um, the next one is, I think I'm saying this right, Truxton. It's actually pretty hard to find, and it's kind of rare. I mean, it's got a rip and a label, but still, pretty, I mean, loose, it's like a $50 game. That's what it said on price charting. So, and I ended up trading three NES games for it, um, Marvelous 3, Gauntlet 2, and one other one. Um, and then next, my last thing I was uh, really excited about, and it's complete, and it's in really good shape. It's got the foam thing. It's awesome, and I got it for 12 bucks. Star Wars Rebel Assault. 
So I'm very excited about this. Ever since I've seen it on the Game Chasers where um, stupid Melvor with his freaking meat claw tried to grab it, and he did from Billy, and they were arguing over it. But yeah, I'm very excited to have this. Can't wait to play it. It looks pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to start concentrating on some Sega CD games now. I'm just kind of feeling it. So, Sega CD is, uh, like I said, N64, NES, and Sega Genesis, and CD and 32X is kind of like, I don't really care about 32X. If I get them, I get them, but, uh, but yeah, I have my eye on one Sega CD game right now that I think I'm going to go get, um, here shortly. So hopefully I can, hopefully it's still there. Uh, okay, see you now. NES Evolution signing off. Bye.